if you are new to my channel, my name is Felicia Fallon. I'm an artist, and right now I'm working on a project called Travel Your City, where I'm traveling the diversity and the cultures in my city, Tri-Cities, Washington, uh, Richland, Kennewick, and Pasco, and seeing what all there is, and what I can learn about this area, and about my community. So I think that's, uh, that's what I'm out doing today. traveling my city today. I'm doing a couple different things. Earlier today I went to a canyon to go look at some of the colors, the fall colors, which are absolutely gorgeous. And it's a canyon where I know that there's like a homeless population if you go in the back. I didn't really do much of that exploration today, but you can go see my other video on a different homeless community if you want to learn more about homelessness in Tri-Cities. Right now I'm at the Lao Buddhist Temple looking at the different architecture and sculptures and shrines that are here and I will show you guys some of what I found. I don't know a whole lot about the Buddhist population in Tri-Cities. I will maybe learn more on this adventure but I'll show you guys some pictures and some different things about what's going on. I think it's also being built. I'll try to look at the the sign with information on it again. I haven't been out here for a long time but I'm just walking through the little courtyard area so it's really really pretty. So I'm gonna put the phone down and look around and maybe take some pictures for you. So like I've mentioned, I've been out here before, but I've never actually seen anyone out here. I've seen cars, but never any people. And so I don't know, none of the buildings really look like their homes or like you're supposed to knock on the doors. So I don't really know who to talk to to learn more, but uh, if I do, I will tell you guys what I learned. But yeah, I'll keep just showing you guys the architecture and sculptures and shrines as I look at them. This is a neat little area. I don't. I hear a fountain in the back. You can kind of see it. it. Might be too dim. Actually, goes underneath this little area. I don't know. I'm curious to know more about that as well. I'm gonna go look at those structures and just kind of explore. So I don't know. I'm still not quite sure what this place actually is, but I know there's another. Well, and this one has offerings in it. And say I know there's another one that does. I also love that Buddhist art and sculpture and Hindu art and sculpture in India, a lot, I want to say Persian in other places too, but maybe I'm making that up. They have the lotus flowers at the bases and then at different places on sculptures. I really, really like that. I'm going to go in. I took off my shoes. I don't know if you're, I think you're probably supposed to with Buddhist uh, stuff as well. I know with in India, you always take off your shoes before entering, so I'm doing that for respect. Uh, I'm gonna keep exploring. I did find a woman who works here. She's actually driving away, but I asked her if it was okay to take photos, and she said yes. And I asked her if she lived or worked here, and she just said no. But she was taking out trash, so I don't know. She's Lao, and I don't know if she spoke a lot of English, so I, I, I think she just didn't want to talk. I'm not really sure. One thing I remember from India that was really interesting, and I really liked actually, is that they had incense absolutely everywhere. They were stuck in like the little lines on a sidewalk. They were stuck in there. They were stuck all over the place. So I can't actually see inside of here. My arms are all the way above my head and I'm looking in the camera as I record. But you can see there's a bunch of offerings left behind. It looks like sticky rice and other foods maybe? I also really like that there's toys offered. I think that's adorable. And then coconut milk, or coconut juice, I guess. And those look, oh, tamarind. And cookies. While I was at the temple, I actually did find a monk there, and he, he said he didn't want any pictures taken of him because he, like, he didn't want his face, and he said next time I could take a picture of him. But uh, I guess there's three monks here at the Lao Temple in Kennewick. Uh, this man is 59 years old. He, he didn't speak a lot of English, he had a very strong accent, but uh, his his siblings both live in Seattle, I guess, and he's been here for some amount of time. He injured his arm when he was 17, I think, and he has a uh, deformity in one of his arms. So that was, he, he told me the story, but I couldn't understand much of it, but, uh, but yeah, so I got to talk to a monk, and they gave me these little, these strings that, uh, so these, 
you put them around your steering wheel for good luck. And I, like I mentioned earlier, I don't do a lot of the traditions. I, I like to learn about them and see them. And I think uh, there's aspects of them that I find really interesting. And so I like will paint them or use them for inspiration. But I don't, um, I don't like mixing religions in my own life. So I didn't actually put them on the car, but uh, they still gave them to me. And so it was really special, uh, really sweet. And I, I want to see what like how they're put together. I want to study more about it. I love the ideas of like little notes and little symbols and things. Uh, in India, you see this a lot as well. And I, I think in, maybe in Catholicism, but like where you have like a little charm in your pocket. And actually, I've seen these in Christian bookstores where like there's a cross or a little quote that you put in your pocket. I love, love, love traditions like that. So maybe I'll do something in my artwork in response to it. I, I've done a painting that's in response to. Uh, the Indian, the bracelets the Indians wear, but I did one that instead of having just one knot, I did three knots for the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit to represent the Trinity in a painting. So maybe I'll do a prayer and make something similar that is using a psalm or uh, something. I don't know yet. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go into the Middle Eastern restaurant and see what I can find. So thanks guys. I'll see you around.